We're asked to find the implicit equations of the trajectories of the conservative equation, then find the critical points and classify them. Notice for the conservative equation, x double prime plus f of x equals zero. In our case, f of x is equal to x squared minus four. A conservative equation in this form can be written as a nonlinear system of differential equations by letting x prime equal y, and therefore y prime is equal to a negative f of x. Where in our case, if we let x prime equal y, then y prime equals x double prime. x double prime is equal to four minus x squared. And therefore we can write the conservative equation as the nonlinear system, x prime equals y, and y prime equals four minus x squared. To find the implicit equations of the trajectories, because we have a conservative equation, we can use the Hamiltonian, which is the equation one half y squared plus the integral of f of x dx equals c. In our case, we have one half y squared plus the integral of x squared minus four dx equals c. Integrating, we have one third x cubed minus four x, and therefore the implicit equations of the trajectories are in the form of one half y squared plus one third x cubed minus four x equals c. So they are asking for the implicit equations, but we could also solve this for y to give the implicit form. To do this, we'd multiply through by two and then take the square root of both sides of the equation, which would give us y equals plus or minus the square root of the quantity eight x minus two thirds x cubed plus two c. And now for the second part of the question, we're asked to find the critical points and classify them. Recall the critical points occur where both x prime and y prime are equal to zero. Notice x prime is equal to zero when y is zero, and y prime is equal to zero when x is equal to positive two or negative two. This indicates the critical points are two comma zero and negative two comma zero. Recall, for conservative equations in the form of x double prime plus f of x equals zero, the eigenvalues are always lambda equals plus or minus the square root of the opposite of f prime of x. This indicates if f prime of x is less than zero, the critical point is an unstable saddle, and if f prime of x is greater than zero, we have a stable center. These are the only two classifications for the critical points when we have the conservative equation. We already know f of x is equal to x squared minus four, and therefore f prime is equal to two x, and now we evaluate f prime of x at x equals two and x equals negative two. f prime of two is equal to four, f prime of negative two is equal to negative four. So because f prime of two is equal to positive four, we know the critical point two comma zero is a stable center, and because f prime of negative two is equal to negative four or less than zero, we know the critical point negative two comma zero is an unstable saddle. Before we go, let's verify this by looking at the face portrait. We'll do this using the online tool referenced here at the bottom. We begin by entering the equations. We have x prime equals y tab, y prime equals four minus x squared. We'll go ahead and leave the default window, but let's click on the variable length arrows box on the right, and then click graph face plane. Let's go ahead and scroll down. Let's change the length of the vectors. To do this, we change the arrow length. Let's change it to 12, and then click graph. Let's change it to eight, and click graph. This looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and scroll back down. Notice the vector field does verify we have a critical point at two comma zero, as well as a negative two comma zero. And now it shows some trajectories by clicking on points on the vector field. The face portrait does verify our work. Two comma zero is a stable center, and at negative two comma zero is an unstable saddle. I hope you found this helpful.